Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel and uh, playing around with the latest version of SDR Sharp, uh, version 1.0.0.1740. Um, I had not played with SDR Sharp in a very long time. And I have to say that the uh, new look of the interface, although a lot of it is still the same, uh, dark mode and all of that, um, I don't know, there's a feel that I like. Uh, for some reason, there's something I enjoy using it now. So um, I'm going to play around with my RTL the RV3 dongle a little bit. So here you see some shortwave signals. Uh, right now I'm not on my shortwave antenna, I'm on my VHF uh, mobile vertical, but they do get some shortwave signals. So this is Spain, for example. Mucha gente, bueno, como siempre, mucha gente queriendo venir y visitarnos. Eh, y es cierto que a veces sí que hay gente que viene, que piensa venir con nosotros, nosotros y luego llama y dice, oye, no, mira, es que mejor me quedo en casa porque oigo y Pero, pero hay muchísima gente que quiere venir. Eh, eh, ahora mismo nuestro mayor problema es más bien el acceso porque, bueno, pues eh, está el, el camino so that's Spain, if we look at uh, this Radio Marti, 565. That's also Spain, 11940. I'm going to be checking out the, the software, that's for sure, as I'm really, really liking the feel. Um, SDR Sharp is one of the software for um, software-defined receivers. Um, it runs us several uh, different uh, devices. Uh, when you look at the source here, the, uh, the uh, source of the radio is uh, capable of being so many different things uh, from a uh, RTL SDR USB to many other different types of receivers. Um, it, um, it feels good. You see here it crashed. It did that a couple of times. I don't know if it's the version I'm going to try to, to see uh, uh, why it does it. it. It doesn't crash when I'm using it much, but from time to time it does. And uh, of course, it's always kind of a little um, annoying when the software crashes. But I've noticed it's mostly when I try to change uh, some of the settings. Um, if I play around with it, it usually is uh, pretty good. So, um, kind of nice. Nice feel. I, I like that. And, um, I don't know. It's uh, one of the software that I had put aside and uh, feel like actually using it again. So, uh, I think that's good news. Interesting to see. I, I like the, uh, there's new markings now in the, uh, in the spectrum section where you uh, now know where the 20 meter band is, where shortwave broadcasts are. When you're in the VHF, UHF range, it tells you what type, uh, what band you are uh, tuning also. That's kind of nice. Nice little add-ons, and um, I'll be checking out more of this for sure. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.